Hello. Um, so following on from my post on LinkedIn yesterday regarding the RTC 360 data in Register 360 showing the viz links which were created out in the field, um, I wanted to show the data today uh, so that some people get an, uh, an idea of the quality of the imagery and the scan data and just the general workflow process in Register 360. So I'm just going to open this RTC 360 pan gas project. You can see it's one sitemap, one bundle, 15 setups. So it's a relatively small job. Uh, but one bundle has successfully all come together. And from the image we posted yesterday, that was um, that was done automatically in the field prior to import anyway. So we're going to double click on the job and we're looking at the data. So you can see here now, here's our, uh, our scan positions, our setups. Uh, all the green lines are the links. So those familiar with Register 360 will be aware of this, but you may not be aware of this new feature here, which are the images. And these are the tags which have been added via the tablet out in the field. So if you've used the field 360 app, in the field, you can add tags and they'll be um, put geospatially correctly directly within the database. Um, so for each of the setups, um, we can actually see the panoramic imagery. So I'll just hover over each of these. If we go into the uh, images tab, you can see we've got some views which have been created, but we've also got um, all of the images which have been collected via Cyclone Field 360 directly in here. And if we click on any one of these, we can actually open that directly and we can see the asset. Now, that doesn't have to just be a photo. That could be videos, that could be um, audio files, anything that you've associated with the job. So what we're going to do now is we'll go back into the bundle. Um, I want to show you the, the scan data and the imagery. So we're just going to go into the, the bundle cloud. And if we go into the bundle cloud, here you can see we're now directly within, uh, within the data. We can click on any one of these positions. So let's click on setup one. And you can see now already just zooming around, this is the point cloud and the image. Um, so if I turn off the background imagery, you can see we're just left with the point cloud. And if we turn back on the imagery and turn off the point cloud, there you go, this is the panoramic image. So you can see the quality of the image and the color rendition is absolutely amazing. Um, we also have the ability to view these images. Uh, we can actually view the, uh, the raw HDR image as well if we want to. So if we click on image type and say HDR image, you can now see we've got a sliding scale and we can tweak that and pull out detail or look at um, additional items um, using this slider, which is quite nice. Um, so we'll go back to the, uh, I prefer the, working with this, this image type, of course, um, and we can jump to our scan locations. I've currently got animations turned off, but we can have trans uh, animation transitions turned on if need be. And you can see this is a really, really nice little data set, very quickly collected, um, all registered, as I said yesterday, using the, uh, the Viz technology. Also, these images, as I said before, we can click on the image directly and uh, open up open up the link. So you can see we've got another image loading in just there. So it's really nice from a facilities managed point of view, from a construction documentation point of view. You can imagine building up a huge raft of images. And, and when you then push this data throughout into either TrueView, either TrueView Cloud or TrueView Enterprise, or if you push this data out into the Jetstream Viewer, um, then you will obviously see that data. We also have a new file format called LGS. Uh, which we'll talk about soon, but uh, this new LGS file format will contain all of this information. So, um, yeah, I think that's really all I needed to show in this video. I just wanted uh, you guys to get a, an idea of, um, of, of what we could do in terms of, uh, in, in terms of looking at the data um, and in terms of the data quality, the image quality. What I would also like to show, actually, if we click on the bundle now, we've also got some different rendering options in here in terms of the, uh, the, the data we can actually switch to say color by bundle and color by setup, which are, are new. So color by setup, you can see now we can actually see all the individual setup colors. And color by bundle is quite useful because now it might be that you've got one job with several bundles. You can actually click this and you can see all bundles, but this is obviously one successful bundle, so it's all colored blue um, accordingly. Um, but there's, there's some nice, uh, nice rendering options. So anyway, if you would like to see some more, I can post some more data, but um, in, the, in the meantime, you can see the high quality of the image information and uh, we'll look some more at the scan data in due course. So uh, thank you for uh, watching. Uh, if you've got any comments, then please leave them below. Uh, I'll cross post this to YouTube as well so people can um, view it there. But um, let's close that project and uh, catch up soon. Thank you.